morning, then. It is XFM Breakfast. Of uh, of course, uh, that much should be obvious. Uh, I am John Holmes, and if it wasn't obvious uh, then, it should be obvious now, because we welcome big friend, big friend of XFM, that's what I'm going to call you, Mr Noel Gallagher. Good morning to you. Hello. How's it going, Noel? It's going all right. It's it going is. all right. It's going all right. Do you look for, you know, when you've got new music coming out, because that's the kind of point of this, I think, because we're yes. about to play your brand new single. Uh, I know it's not quite out yet, but do you have that sort of, oh, it's out, it's out, I've got to throw it out into the world thing? Yeah, about yeah, 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 it's exciting. I guess it's like uh, tickets going on sale and all that kind of thing. You start to you start to feel the uh, reaction from other people, like people will see you in the street and uh, your friends will hear it on the radio and blah, 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 and they'll, uh, you'll instantly think, well, yeah, people do like it, that's good. Yeah, well, I'm sure they will. We're about to find out, of course, obviously. We'll, we'll let you know how it goes. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, do, do, do that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so, uh, before we uh, before we play, obviously, we should, uh, a few things we should talk about. Last time you were on the show, uh, we, we talked, we were talking about uh, festivals, and you said you were free, I think, uh, Glastonbury weekend, mm. and I wonder whether Mr. Evis uh, has been in touch since then at all, and whether you've got any scoop for us in that direction. No, it's still, oh, it's still very much up in the air, as far as I know. I I'm, I'm, I, well, I'm definitely, if I'm not playing, I'm going, so I'll be there. <laughs> um, so uh, I always keep that weekend free if I can, yeah. but um, unless now, it's my first day back in the game after the New Year, so I don't, um, unless, unless something's happened over the weekend, I don't know, right. I don't know about it though, but uh, I will stay again, you know, I'm available. There you go. <laughs> I'm going to be there, shall I bring my amp and guitar, shall I? Uh, uh, honest, I'll be honest, no, it sounds like begging now. <laughs> <laughs> yes, shall I? <laughs> Um, well, I, you know, I have just bought a new, you know, I've got, I've got to put a new kitchen in my house, so, you know, it, every, <laughs> every little helps. It does, you know? right. Um, I've got an idea for you how to raise money. Um, did you notice that um, poor old Stings had to pull his musical from Broadway? Did you see that last week? He was doing a, he was doing a musical. He was doing a musical. He wrote a musical. Now, why it didn't work on Broadway, I have no idea. But it was a musical about him growing up and working in a shipyard. It sounds amazing, <laughs> <laughs> Weirdly, no one's gone to see it. I don't know. I, don't I, know find, that, I, fi I find that... St Some people have no taste. Okay? <laughs> I find that staggering that uh, people would not go and see a musical about a Geordie fella who doesn't <laughs> speak in a Geordie accent, who used to be in a band with a jazz drummer, whose dad was in the CIA, about him growing up in a shipyard. That's... that's, 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 that's I don't know. All the, the mind, elements are there. The mind boggles, yeah. Um, I was thinking, though, because didn't you work for British Gas years ago? Oh, sorry. I, yeah, I was, I was. I was worked for a firm that was a subcontractor yeah. to British Gas. Yeah, I yeah. did put a few gas mains in, in Manchester. I, uh, I, you know, that's got to be. There's got to be a musical in it now. Come on, <laughs> hasn't that? Well, it's funny you should say that. It's funny you should say that. There's uh, no. Uh, somebody did talk to me once about a musical recently. An American, an American dude. And after I'd stopped laughing, I'd realised that he'd walked off. You know. <laughs> but um, yeah, he was like, you know, the rags to riches story of Oasis. And I was like, after I belly laughed and <laughs> spewed up the drink. I'd, I don't know, he wasn't there anymore, so I, obviously, I, don't, I don't think it'd be happening any time soon. No, fair enough. I was going to say, you know, there's an opening, opening in the market now. You can get yourself a new bathroom out of that, possibly, as well as your kitchen. Uh, well, the bathroom has to go in at some point. Exactly. Yeah, you know, I, that, this, this all depends on Michael Evis, you know, getting his finger yeah, out. Yeah. Well, yeah. well, we'll help as much as we possibly can, as you know. Uh, and we'll start by playing the new song. Now, the album is out on the 2nd of March. That's right. Is it really? Uh, it is, just to let you know. It's called Chasing Yesterday, and this is the second uh, single from it, uh, Ballad of the Mighty Eye. Uh, Johnny Marr on the track as well now. Johnny Marr does feature uh, mm. heavily on the track. There's lots of guitar playing on there. The really good bits are Johnny's. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. Right. So it's the, the ballad, it's the ballad the, of the mighty Johnny Marr then? In that yeah, the, the bits that are just all right, they're mine. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, listen, we, we'll take up no more of your time. Uh, Noel, a pleasure as always to have you on XFM Breakfast. Uh, 